Good evening, folks. There was an excellent question posed in yesterday's comment section, and its answer is worth sharing more broadly. The question was a roundabout way of saying, okay, so I get they ignore solar particles and magnetic fields when it comes to their climate science in favor of solar irradiance, but still, why would the temperature have risen the last century? Aren't those values and their ups and downs consistent? Consistent century to century? Then no, they most certainly are not. And that's one of two parts of the truth about what they call global warming. Here is the last 400 years of sunspot data, and yes, they have been able to count these for centuries. You see the up and down of the 11-year cycle, and also the last grand solar minimum, the Maunder minimum. There is a 10-30 to 30 year lag of solar forcing on Earth's climate, and it should be easy to see why the 1900s may have been warmer. It's the highest solar activity of the grand cycle, grand solar maximum, and with the up to 30 year lag, you can see why we're still in it. But there's more as we can see on page 80 of Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. It wasn't just the peak of this 400 to 440 year grand solar cycle. It was the peak of such cycles since the early Holocene, 11 to 12,000 years ago. That's no small deal when it comes to incoming energy to the Earth and the climate system. But there's more. It wasn't just the sunspots, it was the coronal mass ejections. The sun pounded out twice the CMEs that it was producing just a century earlier. Not only did the sun give us much more over the last century, but it had an easier time getting in. Earth's magnetic field is weakening, and its poles are shifting as the modern geomagnetic excursion unfolds right on time. A bit over 10,000 years since the Gothenburg excursion, which was a bit over 10,000 years since the Lake Mungo excursion, then the Mono Lake excursion and Lachamp excursion, etc. And so we're back to this. Dozens of professors stumped. Who knows how many more didn't email me. They're able to blame us for climate change because they do not properly factor in the sun, how its activity has changed over the centuries beyond irradiance, and how it not only had the strongest activity in 400 years, in 11 to 12,000 years, but during that exact time, Earth's magnetic shield against that energy has been dropping. There's not one single paper in existence blaming humans for global warming, which accounts for solar particles, cosmic rays, the interplanetary magnetic field, and Earth's weakening magnetic field in the modern pole shift. By the way, I made this video and titled it so boldly because I absolutely do know that no such paper exists. Many touch those topics, but those papers end up blaming the sun and magnetic field of Earth, not human activity. There is no piece of their climate propaganda that takes on the real, full story, and that makes it an academic fraud, used to promote a propaganda fraud, policy fraud, and theft of money and power from the world. I mean every word of that. Go ahead, prove me wrong. Or try, because I already know you won't. The best you have is ad hominem attack, so let them fly. And thanks for playing. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.